everyone, it's Emily with Hearty Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Before I get started with today's topic, we really wanted to thank all of our supporters and all of the people watching these videos at home. Without your support, without your positive comments, this channel could not exist. And I thank you so much for staying tuned and watching week to week all of the goings ons that happen here on our farm. Today we're talking all things garlic. So in this raised garden this year, I decided to grow garlic. In the years past, I've grown garlic only out in our vegetable field. But last year, I decided in the fall to grow the garlic right here in this raised bed. I knew that I could put this garlic in the dirt in the fall and in the summertime, so now it's July. After I've got the garlic harvested, then I could put in all of my cold fall crops that I wanna be able to harvest in the fall or later on this summer. Things like Brussels sprouts and fennel and a little bit of chard. All of those things will go really great in this raised bed. Today it's middle of July and these garlics are ready to be pulled and harvested. So in the next video I'm going to show you how I braid these into a beautiful braid for your kitchen and how I incorporate all of my really nice dried flowers from our cut flower bed. But for today I'm just going to show you how I harvest the garlic and what I do in order to save enough garlic seed for the next year. So I pull the dirt away from the garlic here and I can kind of see how big this garlic is. So I know that these garlics are big enough to harvest. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of these garlics out. You can see just how long the garlic stalk is. It's probably a good four to five feet long. It's super long. I also really love using these garlic flowers in my flower arrangements. They really make a nice garden smell and they're very pretty. All right, so I'm just gonna harvest, pull all of these garlics and then I'm gonna set them on a rack in my garage for a few days to cure. local big box stores and in the spring and summertime and that's all great except you can't put it in the summertime it won't work very well at least here where we are in zone 4b we are here in southeast minnesota we put our garlic in in the late fall it's the last thing i put in before i head to my house for hibernation for the year and we put it in in the fall and i also will select specifically will select the larger cloves on of all of these garlics because the larger cloves will give you the larger head of garlic. So I'll save the smaller heads of garlic for um, cooking and either my kitchen and for braiding. See, these are smaller ones. They'll be great for cooking. Them. Oh, it just means they super that's that's actually the case with this one it's going to make a great seed garlic to show you up close it's going to make a great seed garlic for this coming fall so you can see that the the cloves are already starting to part so i can tear them apart really easily and this will go on the ground clove by clove i'm not going to tear it apart now but you take the clove off you snap it apart from the rest of the cloves and you put it in the ground just like this so roots down and then this will grow the next garlic for the next season. 
I love growing garlic because it's super easy. It's kind of like the grand finale of gardening around here. Once the garlic goes in, I call it quits on the gardening for a couple of weeks, at least until I start thinking about ordering seeds in February. But it's super easy to grow, kind of does its own thing. And you pick it in the summertime and it's ready to go and it's beautiful. We love cooking with garlic. We love making mashed garlic. There's a ton of health benefits and lots of different ways to cook with it. Head to my blog for a 101 on all things garlic. This is quite a haul. Not gonna lie, this is pretty heavy. <laughs> It didn't come out with a nice long stalk. It got ripped off when I was pulling it out. It's gonna be perfect for planting this fall. This will give us six really nice garlic plants from just this one. Gonna let these cure for a few days and then in the next video I'm going to show you how I use my cut flowers that are incredible for drying and the garlic to create this really nice garlic braid. Thanks so much for joining me this week while we harvest our garlic and I give you a few insider tips on growing garlic. I'm gonna head back down to that bed, get it all amended, and get all of our brassicas and fall produce in just in time to get ready for fall. Stay tuned next week when I show you how to braid this garlic and how we're going to incorporate some of my really nice cut flowers that fit drying too. If you want more insider garlic tips on everything garlic, head to my blog. I've got it all listed out there for you. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great week.